I want to add to what I said before about Yom Kippur. I just saw uh, my children's father. Um, he came to get the kids. I'm about to see a client and, you know, leave it to him to put a, um, a twist on things for me, Jewishly. He's been doing that for over 14 years and he'll continue to do that forever probably, but he did it again this morning, uh, sharing with me what he did this morning for Yom Kippur, which I'll leave up to, you know, to him to share with who he wants to share with, but, um, it was powerful and nature-based and all about being with God in a really powerful nature-based, like, primal, raw way, and then he sung a little bit of the song, you know, that I didn't grow up with, na, 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 that, like, those minor keys that get me, they just get me, those minor keys of Jewish songs, that melancholy, kind of, like, deep, you know, and it's about the attributes of God, so, you know, like, if, if I can, if people can, you know, speaking for me, you know, he certainly is, if I can create my own ritual that's powerful, you know, powerful ritual of just being with God <clears throat> on Yom Kippur, on other days, for myself and my children. I'm into that. That I'm into. Like Tashlik on Rosh Hashanah, you know, we threw pebbles and, you know, released. Like, I'm into the nature stuff, which, of course, was there before. The Ten Commandments and the written word, the nature-based stuff, was there for thousands of years before, and then they kind of put it together. So that works for me. So I feel sort of, you know, revitalized. Like, you know, I never wanted to throw the baby out with the bathwater. I just want to be clear about that. I'm Jewish. I wasn't raised to connect with much other than Hanukkah, Rosh Hashanah. You know, I'm not into putting on pantyhose ever, but certainly not, like, to get dressed up to go to synagogue. It's just not my thing. But, uh, you know powerful, you know, nature-based, you know, rituals and ceremonies connecting with God. Yeah, I'm all about that. And if you tie in and weave in Jewish tradition and Jewish song and Jewish prayer with that, I'm cool with that. So, you know, it's just the organized religious institution and the, the, um, all the trappings of that and just the vibe, sort of like the, the mainstreamy, you know, kind of controlling rule-based vibe of all of that that I'm not into. But uh, so just wanted to share that, you know, I thought that was super cool and happy Yom Kippur. And um, I made challah French toast for Yom Kippur. It's delicious. Sorry. <laughs> if anyone's watching, I'm really hungry. Um, and I'm going to go um, see clients in my office here in my home, because to me, that's very much being with God and being of service to goddess and God and helping people. And to me, that's like going to temple every time is when I'm with my clients. So, um, God is blessed, and I'll see you soon.